How you doing? What do you think your best uh, scheme fit is for the next club? If you had to take, I know you want to play anywhere. But what's your best scheme fit? I feel like the best scheme for me is probably a 4 3 defense, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it gives me a more aspect of helping out. I feel like it's more balanced, in my opinion. Help me, it allows me to play on the guard how, if I want to cross the center's face or lose a contain to the three, out in the, as a three technique or as a nose, things like that. I just feel it's more comfortable for me. Yes, sir. What's an aspect of your game that you feel like you can maybe underrate about? You? Something that you're good at, but you don't get enough credit. I feel like I'm really good at my run stopping defense. Um, I feel like I'm really good at the point of attack, things like that, from maintaining my gap. Um, I feel like I'm good. I'm good for my size as a pass rusher, as an interior lineman, because I try to do my best to get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. What's something that you really want to work to develop so that you can show teams the crowd the workouts and even during the regular season? What's an as aspect of your game that you really want to take to the next level? Uh, the main thing I'm really trying to focus on is my pass rush, like I just said before. I feel like that's something I really need to work on. A lot of times I'll be I was resorting to more just like a few moves other than trying to work towards like reacting to what they give me than just having a move in my head. Who's the leader of the party that you had to In my mind, it'll probably, if not me, it had to be Doran James. Because I feel like he brings a lot of energy to the team as well as just defense alone. He pushes anybody he goes against to bring the best out of them. And honestly, he just tries, he kind of, I don't, how I feel it, he's really versatile. He plays pretty much any position you want him to do. And that's how I see it by him. Josh Sweat said he's going to run 4-4. Four, four. Is that going to happen? Is he that much of a freak? Honestly, yes. That man, he's, for his size, he's very, very, set, very fast. And his wingspan, like he's a freaking condor. So that man's, it's like a creative player. <laughs> With well, someone like Duran James, with somebody who pretty much loves contact, I'll probably put him at Mike. Cause he's probably he'll be the first one I know who's gonna go straight into that gap and plug the hole. Uh, I mean, with Derwin, um, nah, I don't think he'll just he could just play um, Mike with him, cause he's I think he's a lot comfortable with a lot of the positions in the secondary. So there's no telling what he could play. Uh, it's like he, um, I just answered. He'll probably, it's okay. It'll, I'll be best being. I'm more comfortable uh, as a four-three type of defense. But honestly, I can play either one. Uh, not as not as a whole. I met a scout. That's about it. A lot of things I look at with, when it comes to the offense in general, I look at the main three men, the center and the two guards. I pay attention to a lot of small pre key reads, if, if they have a close stance, a wide stance. If they got a lot of pressure in their hands, it means it's going to be a run, less pressure. This is going to be a pass. Where the position of the running back is, because a lot of times they'll either slide away from the back, run away from the back. If he's flat, it's high probability running, he's going straight to our right. Or if he's deep, he's going straight down into the A gap. So a lot of those things you really got to key. A lot of those things has to do with the coach will give us a signal what to do. Honestly, it goes back to honestly my, my time of me being a pet owner of my dog, uh, Rocky. Like with him, he um he was more of a, like when I first got him, he was really scared pretty much of everything, from people to noises to even just any object. And my mindset was like, he could have been, something must have happened, because like, I got him when he was 10 weeks old. So when I try to, every now and then I'll try to um, you know, lower his guard, help me relax like, upon a lot of people. And then over my time um, just being with him, it just in my mind I was thinking, I don't want any other dog to be going through that type of trauma ever. So my idea was just like, I want to try to help out any other animals I possibly can. And then it just brought my attention to try to help out with the Humane Society to help further that cause.